before going to discuss the field work we must know what is surveying for surveying is the art of making uh, observation and measurement uh, in order to determine the relative position of a point on the earth surface so when uh, we are dealing with the surveying surveying actually is the uh, is the measurements of natural as well as man made features so those natural features are related with the nature environment like mountains like plains plateaus deserts and forest uh, like uh, the the things which are related over the uh, earth surface so but the uh, man made features are actually uh, the built up areas or the areas where you have the human economic activities now the information or data that we get from the surveys are presented either geographically or numerically in a plan detail is drawn while in a map many features have to be represented by symbols but scale is too small information can be added as contours but spot heights only are shown on plans all the man made features are shown on the maps like built up area which covers residential educational hospital industrial parks networks or as road railway lines transmission lines in other word all the land uses which are related with the man made features these maps have multiple uses as navigational recreational geographical geological military and their scale ranging from 1 into 25000 to 1 into 1 million in surveying we can divide the field work regarding surveying into geodetic and plane surveying in geodetic surveying large areas of the earth surface are involved and the curvature of the earth must be taken into account but in plane surveying relatively small areas are under consideration and it is taken that the earth surface is flat or horizontal plane so in this type of surveying the recent techniques are used like um, uh, we can use here the total station the theodolite the automatic level but once these surveys were conducted by the help of chain and tape surveys plane table surveys and prismatic surveys here we must know the accuracy of the surveying is depends upon the purpose for which the survey is being undertaken so the survey actually controlled by the accuracy of the figures surveys are often classified by the topographical surveys in this type of survey these produce maps and plans of the nature and man made features so here we have a map of the colony which is actually made by the private property dealers or we can say actually the the area where you have the town plannings so all the groups um, of built up area actually controlled by certain parcels so these parcels are related with the residential places so these are the residential places all the groups are there uh, groups of all level of incomes so few are related with the uh, low income group few are related with the middle income group and some are related with the large or high income groups so built up area is controlled by a certain level of incomes so this colony not only is uh, comprises of the built up area but it also has parks and the areas which are controlled by the the commercial activities so it means a colony is controlled by a certain man made feature which have their own land use uh, importance in geographical field work uh, one of the most important survey is engineering survey these include all the surveys work uh, required before during and after any engineering work now plans used for engineering designs and administrative purposes only before any engineering work are started large scale topographical maps 
or plans are required as a basis for design. These surveys are conducted specially for the design and construction of buildings, towns, highways, site plans and civil engineering works. So the geographical field works are conducted for making plans which are used for engineering designs and administrative purposes. Now this plan is actually related with the educational field. Now this is a map of the Government College University Lahore. So here you can see the parks or the area which is called the, the open spaces and some are related with the built up regions. So this is the old building of the Government College University Lahore and some are actually the places which are under new construction or built during the last decades. So we can make this type of map with the help of AutoCAD, GIS and the ground surveys. So some of the field surveys are conducted by the old and new methods but certain techniques are involved for the making of the plan regarding the engineering field work. Now the third type of the survey is the cadastral surveys. These are undertaken to produce plans of property boundaries for legal purposes. In many countries, the registration of ownership of land is based on these maps. So here we have uh, again the map which is produced by the surveyors, but those maps are actually related with the purpose behind which is actually the property or the legal purposes. So in this way we can use the cadastral survey for the making of the map uh, to conduct the surveys regarding the uh, income tax or the property tax or other areas which are under the human controlled environment.